Hello everybody, welcome to the channel if you're new. I so appreciate the views here and those of you just listening in, thank you so much. Um, welcome if you're new. Here's another one for a uh, quick pick. I have created a playlist here called Mini Readings. These are your quick pick pick a pile playlist and these are the decks I'm going with today I'm gonna go ahead and start the smudging process at this time right now you can go straight into the description box below and choose either piles one two three or ABC however you want to do that these this playlist is created for people on the go Angel wishes everyone gets dessert after their reading. One, two, three. Angel wishes by Debbie Malone. These are called the Starseed Oracles by Rebecca Campbell and Danielle Noel. One, two, three. And I'm going to clarify with this other amazing deck, the African American Tarot. And these are created by Jamal R. and Thomas Davis. Okay, let's get started. Ooh, I need to get a little more going. Here we go. A little more smudging. This just allows me to clear my mind while I process the information and look for the messages and how I interpret cards. Um, I love that about being a reader here on YouTube is all the uniqueness. One, two, three. One reader may look at a card a certain way and then there's a lot of similarities here with all of us and thank you again for being here. All right, let's go ahead and start. For pile one, please. For pile one, Star Seed Oracles. This is your quick pick. Star Seed Oracles. Okay, pile one. For pile two, please. For pile two, please. Here we go. There, kind of random. And pile. There we go, with the quickness too. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna pull these out at the end, randomly, after each one, okay? No, let's do it now, sorry. Never mind. You guys, it's kind of also sometimes a timing issue. Excuse me, let's turn that down a little bit. Okay, um, it's also a timing issue, but these are designed for quick. So let's, that helps with the timing, is if I can get these first. One, two, please. Two, please. This one. And three. Okay. I heard. Just grab that one. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. Excuse me. I'm on the floor. I'm trying to figure out. Right. How to get cozy here. By the way, here's a picture of Marilyn Monroe. Beautiful. I got it from my neighbor. It's very cool. All right, you guys, and let's go for it. <sighs> Finally, if you've chosen pile one, this could be you. Look at this. Hi, Rayeth. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. Somebody here reminiscing about somebody. Well, this is the love channel and all this beautiful pink which it also matches 
up with these angel wishes, the box and the, you know, is that playful energy? Ask your inner self the answer to your question. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all very smart, intuitive on our own. And let's go ahead and ask, what does this mean? Let's ask my spirit guides, okay? Here we go. Please further clarify for pile one. Please further clarify for pile one. I'm just called to grab this one. What is it, guys? <gasps> the sun? Oh my gosh. Oh, that energy was kind of what I got straight away here. The playful, childlike energy, and we see it like this. The two of you, you bring out one another's uh, childlike energy. There's paint on here. Sometimes I get paint on my fingers. Excuse me. Look at this. It's the sun. You and this person have a purpose together. And it's because you have the same high vibration. Like your childlike energy, it never ceases to amaze me. And that really is something that draws the two of you together. It's your inner self. <sighs> they bring it out. What you're, what you're about on the inside, this person brings out of you. And honestly, somebody missing you. Energy. Longing for you. Homesick for you. Homesick for this dynamic duo, this partnership, this joy and fulfillment that... I feel is destined for you, pile one. Whoa, very intense, my dears. That's intense. Okay. All right. Ooh. If you have chosen pile two, this could be your message. Here we go. Pile two. Ooh, I remember. Soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny life. And do not be afraid to follow your dreams. Oh my gosh. Give me a break. This is what is your what is your destiny, my dears? Because fate is more of a pessimistic energy. And destiny is like it's the why not part of you. Like, whoa, are you sure? You want to be that successful? You want to be with the one that truly, like, you are meant to be with? Is that the dream, my dear? And now I'm also getting you um, here. Wow, I didn't even mention Leo in the first round. Excuse me. That's going to be confusing. I won't say that. I'll just write that in the description. I don't know. Um, I am getting Neptune energy here, which is you Pisces, okay, because of the dreams. It's also very deep, emotional. I see someone here, divine feminine praying. Don't be afraid. Keep your dreams alive. Who says you can't have it all? Who says? And I'm also getting the other two water signs here in this message as well we have scorpio and cancerian energy here with the water so beautiful you guys Ooh, here we go here we go let's go ahead and clarify another intense message my hands are very sweaty too guys it just yeah I get very um, intertwined with readings. I don't know if you've noticed, like, the shortness of breath and stuff. Okay. Whoa. We have a couple of flippers. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. You know what? There's somebody here that <laughs> wants to say cheers and come forward towards you. I've been working so hard on myself. 
and my mind keeps coming back to you my gosh look at this again water tribe there's a lot of emotion here scorpio pisces cancerian energy followed by we have aquarius libra and gemini in this as well with this sheath. what do we call this a chopping blade he's um works hard this masculine works his or her excuse me butt off okay mm-hmm I work really hard to have a fruitful life and to have my needs met on my own and you know what the only thing missing right now is you my my wish fulfillment dream weaver beauty queen we also have Capricorn Taurus Virgo here okay well happy birthday Libra I, I just, it, this is timeless, I'm sorry, but just look at the dates, okay? I do have to say that for some reason, okay? Happy birthday indeed. Okay, work really hard, this person. All right, last but not least ever, certainly, we have you pile three. If you've, cho if you've chosen um, pile three, this could be your message or watch all three. Activated Earth. Ooh, Earth signs. Okay, here we have you again, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. Do you see this portal? Do you see this um, circle? It's the circle of life for me. And it is about grounding and healing with all the stars here in this beautiful, this beautiful card. Okay. All these cards are amazing. Everything. These are all, every, everything I present on this channel, every deck, um, they were all spiritually guided. In, I'm just saying. Don't let life pass you by. Be among it and live. Some of you aren't really pursuing things, maybe. Pile three. If you are letting life pass you by, hmm, put adventure and at the top of your priority list, okay? That is what I'm being called to say. Um, yes, having fun. Get shit handled. I'm not saying like blow off important things, but what I'm saying is make sure that you put a little adventure at the top of your priority list because that'll make everything else fall into place for you. That's what I'm being called to say. Look at this beaming light. Ooh, it's a confirmation. I just got a text message from my home girl. That light that coming through is angelic and it is. Yes. She's so funny. Um, this is you pile three not that you're you could be viewing this one and the other two here but I'm getting a lot of spiritual guidance for you they want you to live your best life okay your ancestors and angels and what do we have here oh <gasps> Move forward, my dear. Could be you, Cancerian. And that's funny. My homegirl that's texting me right now, she is a Cancerian. Emotional. Look at you. High vibes. You don't put up with a lot of crap, do you, baby? That's what I want to say. Well, you're not now because it's telling you to move forward with your assertive energy this came out one of the last ones too and seven is july that can be of significance right because june july is cancerians and some of you your life path number is seven so on and so forth my goodness i am going to close it here <sighs> wow, look at this. I 
I just want to say this first spread is they're all beautiful but look at this once again pile one sun leo energy it's such fulfillment and joy okay i i don't know why i did that maybe you'll check out pile one pile three okay maybe that one will resonate with you too i'm feeling like all three of these piles they're beautiful it's a win-win no matter what you choose here okay but as always, these are general, so take it or leave it, my dear. That has been your quick pick for this week, and I'll be doing a few more of these. I feel like this playlist is kind of tiny, and um, these quick picks are uh, a lot better for my timing as well. And with that being said, mwah, peace, love, and light, and until next time. Bye.